Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is JT Bricks here back for another Lego Star Wars video here today. And today I have somewhat of a more kind of fun or different video. Obviously, as many of you know, the new LEGO Star Wars 2021 sets have been pretty much all revealed. We at least know what we are going to get um, in the winter and spring waves. And to be honest, you know, some people do like this, you know, these waves and stuff. But a lot of people like myself also aren't the biggest fans of the new wave. And, you know, there's some good in this, you know, this wave that I like. But ultimately, there's also a lot of stuff that I'm just not a big fan of. And I think LEGO really could have done a better job at being more creative and just going a different direction. So today's video, we're going to be talking about that and talking about an alternate reality of LEGO Star Wars in 2021. Let's get right into it. So basically in this video, we're going to be doing an alternate reality LEGO Star Wars 2021 wave where I go down through this list basically and replace or keep, you know, depending on what the sets are, some of the sets throughout this wave. And we're just going to create basically an entire new 2021 Star Wars wave. Starting out this year, instead of the Millennium Falcon microfighter, we can get an ATTE microfighter. Um, you know, the Millennium Falcon isn't a bad microfighter, but obviously it's just one we've gotten a couple times before, so really nothing new or inspiring there. So instead, why not get an ATTE with a clone trooper or something like that? Just something different and unique. Now, moving forward, usually in LEGO Star Wars, at the beginning of each year, we get two independent microfighters and a microfighter dual pack. So far this year, we've only gotten one microfighter revealed and a microfighter dual pack. So for whatever reason, LEGO canceled or just isn't doing another microfighter. So I decided instead of just not doing one, why not in an alternate reality, LEGO makes a TIE bomber microfighter. It's something that again is unique and it's original trilogy. Obviously LEGO loves original trilogy, so why not throw it in? It'll have your TIE pilot right and just the uh, TIE bomber itself. Now, instead of the Tauntaun and at, -AT dual pack, which actually isn't too bad, honestly, I do like that set. We could get something different though, like maybe an Anakin Jedi Interceptor versus General Grievous's Starfighter dual set, which again is pretty unique. Two micro fighters you've never seen before. We've already seen the AT, at so I figured why not try something like this. Now instead of getting the four plus Resistance X Wing set, which is very hideous looking, we could get a dual set. Why not an Ahsoka V Maul Mandalore dual set? Um, usually Lego makes dual sets, and last early tw or 2020 wave they made the dual Mustafar. Why not make a dual on Mandalore with Ahsoka and Maul? You know, to me, the only reason LEGO wouldn't make this is just because the Ahsoka minifigure would, you know, be released again, you know, in a pretty short period of time. Usually, they don't make Ahsoka minifigures too much, so I guess it's the only uh, detrimental factor there. But ultimately, it would be a neat set, and it would be another $20 dual set, so around the same price as the 4 Plus set anyway. And another big thing to take away from this wave is that there's no battle packs, which... Isn't, you know, I'm not really the biggest, like, bummed out guy about it. I'm like, you know, whatever. We'll probably see battle packs again at some point. But it is kind of interesting that they decided not to go with battle packs. So, in this alternate reality, let's say LEGO does a 332nd trooper or 332nd slash clone trooper battle pack that has a bunch of clones in it. That would be awesome. So, in this alternate reality, people get a new clone battle pack. And obviously in this wave, we also got a Mandalorian set, which isn't too bad. It's the Encounter on Tatooine set. Instead, though, why don't we get a set like this one by Brick Wizard 59 called The Marshal, where you get the Mandalorian in a speeder along with Baby Yoda, Cobb Banth and his, like, pod speeder thing, and Boba Fett. Or it could even be a Tusken Raider, honestly. Really, there's a lot of possibilities here. Ultimately, the set we did get isn't too bad, but I think a set that would include Cobb Vanth or Boba Fett would be pretty neat, especially Cobb Vanth, honestly. So I think this would be a suitable replacement for the Mandalorian set in this alternate reality. Now moving on, the next set on the list was the TIE Fighter, and honestly, I decided, let's keep this one. It's really not too bad. Yeah, it's smaller than the older TIE Fighter, but it actually looks really good. I mean, even our productions also said this in his video with the box art. You know, it just looks great, and I can't lie, it's not a bad model. You know, it's pretty small, but it's pretty detailed, and the minifigures, you know, are, you know, what you would expect. You know, a Stormtrooper, a TIE Pilot, and the Protocol Droid, who has a specific name, I don't know it, but it's not a bad set, honestly, and I figured... I was like, I was thinking of replacements, and I'm like, you know what? Lego loves its original trilogy, so I imagine in this alternate universe and dimension, people will also get a TIE Fighter, which isn't a bad set, honestly. It looks pretty good. Now, moving on, to replace the X-Wing, we could get a Y-Wing Bomber, which is the 501st edition, of course. Now, the X-Wing isn't too bad, I can't lie. It's similar to the TIE Fighter, where it's kind of grown on me. It's not, you know, I like it, honestly. But instead, we could get a Y-Wing bomber obviously from the clone wars it could include some clone wars minifigures maybe not throw in ahsoka in there because she would already, you know already be coming in like a dual set or something maybe you could put in just a 332nd trooper but still a pretty unique set something lego obviously has never done before a blue y-wing and it would connect to the clone wars which i feel like a lot of people obviously are fans of so in this alternate reality they get a y-wing instead of an x-wing and it has also been revealed during this wave that we are going to be getting an imperial shuttle how about instead of that the bad batch shuttle I mean, I think this is like a perfect replacement for the Imperial Shuttle. 
The Imperial Shuttle is a set we haven't gotten in five years, yes, but also there's going to be like a new Bad Batch show coming out in 2021, I think, and the Bad Batch are part of the Clone Wars Season 7, and it's not necessarily the most popular ship or vehicle or crew of characters even, but it's unique, and it's probably going to be more popular as, you know, like I said, the Bad Batch show is coming out. So really, I think this is a perfect, you know, replacement set to put in here in this alternate reality, so why not Lego? This would be a good idea in my opinion. Now the next set in this alternate reality is the UCS set, and obviously we don't know what is actually going. The set's going to be right in our own reality. So for the alternate reality, I just said the UCS gunship because I think that's the set we're going to get in real life. And in this alternate reality, I think the UCS gunship is a great set to go for for the UCS set. Again, we don't really know what this is go going to be or what it is, but still, I think the UCS gunship is the perfect set for this year. Also in 2021, we are expecting to see a Darth Vader bust helmet set, which obviously is probably going to look fine, but we did get one of those, like a miniature version recently, you know, for the 20th anniversary sets. So why we're getting another one, I don't know, but that's apparently what's going to happen. So in this alternate reality, instead of getting another Darth Vader bust type set, they get a clone trooper helmet set because that would be cool and I think it would sell well, right? So in this alternate reality, they get a clone trooper set, which I think a lot of people, including myself, would like to see in our own reality. Now, next up, we are expected to receive a new Scout Trooper Helmet Bust set for 2021. Honestly, in our alternate reality, I think we stay in the same course and get another um, Scout Trooper Helmet. It's a cool set, I can't lie. It's something unique and obviously something that was never done before. And again, it's another original trilogy set. You know, LEGO loves them. So in our alternate dimension, our friends get the same Scout Trooper Helmet as we do. Now, another set coming out in 2021 for us is going to be this probe droid model. We don't really know what it looks like, but it is rumored and it's expected to release in the spring. So in our alternate dimension, I decided, you know, against replacing it. It's something unique. We haven't seen what it actually looks like yet. So it's kind of hard for me to be like, oh, you know, this is ugly. This is terrible, but I think it's going to look fine. So I think let's keep it. And, you know, in our alternate reality of Lego Star Wars sets, the probe droid also comes out. And finally, the last set we are supposed to be receiving in 2021 is a bootable statue. We have no idea what this is or what it could be, so ultimately this could be anything, but whatever it is, I'm going to say, I guess, I hope this is the right call, but I hope whatever it is, we will obviously get it in real life, but in the alternate reality, whatever we get, the people in the alternate reality also get released from Lego, so whatever it is, it'll be in the alternate reality as well. I hope it's a great set. We just don't know anything about it yet, so that's that. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up our way from our alternate reality LEGO Star Wars 2021 sets. It's a pretty cool wave, I, I have to admit. So in the alternate dimension that is receiving this wave, you know, you're lucky. Congrats. But regardless, guys, I just thought this would be a cool video idea and something neat and unique to theorize about. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys think this was cool or not. I don't know. I just was bored. I thought, you know, why not? This is something unique. So again, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time on JT Bricks.